In this video, we will see how to design a group style in Blend for Visual Studio Beta. For the purposes of this demo, we will use a grid application template. This is the grouped items page of the grid application template. The design time data available in this template makes group style editing very intuitive and helps you appreciate how real life data would look in the style you're currently authoring. The item grid view control in this page already has a group style defined. The option to edit the group style is available in multiple places, for example, the objects and timeline, the artboard, etc. Editing a group style is only available for list view and grid view controls in Blend for Visual Studio 11 beta. Also, the command is only available on these controls if a group style is already defined on it. For example, in the group details page, grid view, there is no group style defined. So you can see that the command is now disabled. But there is a command called add group style, which you can use to actually add a group style into this grid view. You can now see that the grid view has a group style defined. Once this group style is defined, the edit group style command now becomes enabled and you can use these commands to design your group style. The group style has three designable elements. The container style, which defines the look and feel of the group item. The header template, which defines the visual of the group or the category header and the panel, which determines the layout of elements within a group. We will now design the container style in the group style. I will now go to edit group style option, edit generated item container, and do edit a copy. You can now see a donor around the group item. The two elements that are of interest to us is a content presenter, which encases the header, the items control, which is bound to the items in the group. We will now try to change the layout of the default group item. I will select the grid, add a column. Select the content presenter and change its column span to one. I will then select the items control, move it into column one and change its column span again to 1 and hit enter. You can now see that we have changed the layout of the group item. I will then go ahead and delete the root definitions which are redundant. I will now scope up. You can now see that the layout of the group item has completely changed from its default style. We will now try to edit the header template. Edit group style, edit generated header, edit a copy. Click OK. You can now see a donor around the header. I will select the button. I would now like the button to be vertically laid out. I will now go to the transform category, select the rotate transform and give an angle of negative 90 to the button. You can now see that the button is vertically laid out. I will now select the grid and give it a solid color brush of a dark shade of red. I will now scope up. You can now see that we have completely changed the group header template. Now let's try changing the background of the panel that actually contains the group items. I will select the item grid view, edit group style, edit layout of items, edit a copy, hit OK. Select the variable size wrap grid. 
I would like to give a linear gradient brush to this particular panel. I will select the gradient brush category, select the second gradient stop, and give it a dark shade of red again. You can now see that we have changed the background of the variable size rack red. I will now scope up. That said, it's that easy to edit a group style in Blend for Visual Studio 11 beta.